Tanner Lee has led Nebraska to two straight wins as the Huskers 2-0 in Big Ten play, welcoming Wisconsin to Memorial Stadium for a monster primetime matchup this weekend right here on BTN. And the Husker quarterback joins us now from our campus studio in Lincoln. Tanner, before we get specifically into the Wisconsin game, I'd love to hear from a player's perspective what the last few weeks have been like in Lincoln with the change at the athletic director position and all the outside noise that I know you guys are trying to avoid. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, as a team, we're just trying to stay focused on, you know, things we can control and, uh, you know, things going on in our locker room and just staying focused and staying together as a team. You know, uh, every day we're going out to practice just focusing on one week at a time. You know, offensively, we're focusing on one play at a time, executing and, and just getting ready to play. Quarterback gets too much praise when things go well, too much criticism when things do not. During your struggles prior to these couple of wins inside the Big Ten, how did you avoid any of the outside criticism? Yeah, I think just continuing to prepare and play hard and uh, just approaching every day um, like a new day. You know, coming out and giving my best, you know, preparing my best, you know, doing what the coaches have asked and and uh, just getting our offense in the best position to win is uh, it's just what I've been focusing on every day and, and each week so far. How would you give yourself a self-assessment when you've watched film, critiqued your play over the first four or five weeks of the season? What do you see? You know, I think, uh, I think we've had some ups and downs you know, and as an offense as a whole. I think we've seen a lot of good things of, of what we're capable of and uh, things we can feel confident in. And I think we have to uh, eliminate turnovers and bad plays obviously, and we need to, you know, continue to move the ball and convert on third down. I think we can, you know, do better on first and second down and, and stay out of third and long. You know, that's kind of where we've seen some of our troubles. So we'll, we'll focus on that, and uh, we'll, we'll, especially this week, we'll focus on that. Whether it was Trey Bryant or Divine Zigbo as the lead dog, it seems like you in this passing game much more comfortable when you're able to be complimented by the run game. How much do those guys and their success lead into what you guys can do through the air? Well, I think it's huge. I think the key to winning any football game is you know, controlling the run game and um, maybe controlling the clock, penalties, turnovers, all those things. But it starts with the run game. So I think you know, guys have been taking great pride in their preparation and, and preparing to be able to make sure we can run the ball this week. And um, that's something we focus on as an offense. So we'll continue to do that. Heading into this year, Stanley Morgan was not a guy that a lot of folks outside of Lincoln talked about as being one of the top wide receivers in this conference. He's been terrific through the first month of the year. What do you see with him on the outside? Well, I think Stanley's just a, he's a stud. You know, I think he's, he he's, makes my job a lot easier. He's, he's, he's comfortable having out there on the outside. You know, has a great feel for, you know, how to get open. And then he's got strong hands. He's able to make big plays in uh, big situations. So that's just great to have him. He's a, he's a great player, and uh, he'll, be, he'll be big for us all year. I know last couple of weeks really important for you guys, but when you compare them to what's happening this weekend with a top 10 team coming in to Lincoln, what's the buildup thus far been like to this Saturday's game? Yeah, I think it's a huge opportunity for us to uh, you know, go out and play well in, in front of our home crowd. You know, it's something we're, we really want, something we're focusing on. So it'll be a great challenge. You know, it's something to, to test our team and see what we're made of, and you know, we're really looking forward to it. Obviously, Wisconsin defensively confuses a lot of opposing quarterbacks because they show so many different looks and bring blitzes from so many different ways. How do you offset that? I think just, just stick to your reads. You know, do what, you, do what I've been taught by Coach Langsdorf and Coach Riley. You know, continue to go through my progression and complete the balls. You know, they, they are a great defense. You know, they're very disciplined and sound, and they're going to mix up looks and make plays and, and hustle around. So we just have to match that. So that will be, be a great challenge for us. For you individually, Tanner, how different is this experience in playing football in Lincoln from your previous stop at Tulane? You know, I think just the, the scale's bigger, you know, playing against different teams. But, I mean, I th to me, it's, it's been the same 100 yards, same field same game so it's just been it's been great to get around a, a new group of guys you know a new family and you know, I've gotten extremely close to this team and I'm having a lot of fun being here what are the end goals at the end of the year you feel like Nebraska should be where you know we want to be in the, the Big Ten championship game we want to give ourselves the best opportunity to you know to play in a, in a big bowl game you know that's our goal that's our goal to start the year and I, I think those goals are still in line so we'll just continue to take it one week at a time and, and build towards those goals and uh, stay focused on, you know, the things that can get us there. 
Nebraska quarterback Tanner Lee kind enough to join us in advance of the Huskers' home date against Wisconsin primetime game Saturday night right here on BTN. Tanner, we truly appreciate the time. Best of luck this weekend. All right, thank you. I appreciate it.